You know, sometimes it's over my morning coffee where I have opportunity to dwell in God's Word and to really focus on the condition of my heart, to bring my heart before God and to explore with God what I'm being called into next. And you know, it occurs to me as I sit here with you now that the condition of our heart and our generosity are intimately connected in Jesus' teaching. And so I want to thank you in advance for your generosity, your giving on Giving Hearts Day on February 9th. It is through Giving Hearts Day on February 9th and your generosity that we will be able to support our formation and equipping of individual leaders in our synod. It's through Jeremiah 29 that we'll be equipping 10 leaders from across our synod over the next three years with community organizing skills and entrepreneurial skills to be able to lead transformational projects in their local communities to serve God and to serve their neighbor. And this Giving Hearts Day on February 9th, your gifts will also support our leaders across our synod who are carrying a burden of educational debt. Your generosity will enable them to serve where they feel called to instead of only where they can afford to. Jesus said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And so thank you in advance for investing your heart in our shared mission and vision to be a people freed by the gospel to be wholly devoted to Jesus and our neighbor in love.